We're moving now from the wonderful Gothic bed in the American galleries to a very different um, piece in the museum's collection. It's from Africa, and the standing male figure is called an Nkisi Nkandi. It holds a paquette of medicinal and magical powers, and his role in the community was to provide protection. We're going to think about that in terms of the role of being a doctor and how that can relate to your practice. Learning objectives. Explain how a power figure helps us to understand compassion. Learn to observe and analyze works of art and apply those skills to patient diagnoses. Demonstrate your skill at visual analysis by describing in detail the Enkisian Condi and mimicking his pose with your own body. State your connection to the artwork as a future physician caring for your community. We started the class by passing out x-rays of the Nkisian Condi, one of his beard and one of the paquette or the large belly button. When these, the work came into the collection of the museum, part of the conservation treatments required us to take these photographs or x-rays so that we could understand the structure and the insides of what we were dealing with before conservation on the work was done. The x-ray sort of shows what's going on inside of the Nkisi and informs us about sort of what's beneath the surface in that, in that object. Just like in medicine, when, you know, there's only so much you can see by just looking at the surface, and sometimes we need to use imaging to see uh, what's beneath. When you look at the actual beard, you notice what about the beard? It's a different material. It is a different material and it had to be uh, of a different type so that you could actually put the uh, nails into it and attach it to the jaw. And then this is where do you think this is from? The last one is what I'm showing them. Right. Abdomen, belly. It's really the belly button. Don't worry, you are absolutely correct. But this is what the belly looks, the belly button looks like. Only when you look at that belly button, is it a real belly button? No, what is it? What do you see? It's a sphere, right? That protrudes from the belly. And what else is in there? A shell. A shell, right. It's, does anybody know what kind of shell it is? It's actually called a cowrie shell. But normally cowrie shells are very small. This is a huge cowrie shell. So it's set in there. And what's unusual about the cowrie shell? How does it relate to a belly button? How does this shell relate to a human belly button? It opens into like a hole. Yeah, the hole. So in this case, spirit or medicinal purposes can go in and out. And the paquette is what it's called. It's all filled with medicine and it is filled in a way that it has healing powers inside of it. So the Nkisi is actually, does he look friendly or not? I would not say. I would not say, I think, <laughs> I think that's a fair assumption. He is not your friendliest guy. What else do you notice about him? He looks either scared or in pain. Okay. If you had hundreds of nails in you, you would you would think, think about those things too. Well, what do you think he does in his community? Why would somebody pound nails into him? A marker. Maybe to... Great, who said marker? Marker of what, Mohammed? Just like, some, like, a, like a sort of marking on like an event in time. Yes. In some way. Right. Any other ideas? That is a really good idea. Uh, maybe it's Come on. Ivy? Oh, yeah, sorry, Ivy. I think, well, I looked at this piece earlier. Oh, good. And I remember it was about uh, making, like, an agreement. Yes. With, like, a, like a fellow villager. Right. And, like, marking, like, the Marking the agreement for the whole community. So his healing powers are not just, like, the bed for an individual or small family. His healing powers are for the whole community. He's supposed to bring peace. What you and I, may I use you as an example? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so if you and I have a disagreement, it could be about land or people, women, um, if you're a handsome man, or it could be about, you know, um, healing, you know, one of our uh, healing somebody in the community. Once we come to an agreement, what do we do in the United States? We shake hands. Um, that's the easy one. What, another solution is if we have a tougher agreement, what do we do? We sign something or go to court, and those become resolutions. So each one of those nails in there is a, like an agreement that the community has to come together to witness, and then it stays in the community. What do you think happens if a nail falls out? Good news, bad news? Put it back in, is right. <laughs> right, get that, get that IV back in there. Don't let, don't let it fall out. Yeah, no, it's not good news if it falls out, unless maybe the dispute is over. You know, that's another way. If we had had a land disagreement, our families might have gotten married and then there's no more problem. But in general, it's, they try to resolve it again. To, to truly understand the Nkisi and Kandi, we're going to change into him. We're actually going to transform ourselves into this figure. So what I want you to do is everybody change positions just a little bit because you guys haven't seen the front of him. I want you to go here and some of you have actually enjoyed him. Come over here and put everything down because you're going to get in the shape of the Nkisi and Condi. Someone whose responsibility is to be a major force in the community and resolving those conflicts. So we're going to start at the head, top of the head, and I want you to lift your head. It's not straight out. What is the head? Slightly tilted up, okay? You tilt your head up just a little bit. And then what's the next big feature? The eyes. Open your eyes as wide as you possibly can. Not just a little bit, as wide as you can. All right, come to head up, eyes wide, mouth open just slightly. That's your breath. Okay, shoulders round forward, not straight back, round forward, and hands on hips. Cinch those hips in like a cheerleader, right? Head up, <laughs> eyes open, mouth apart. Now you're going to look down and look at his hips, how important they are. And then go down to the knees. If you look at this, you'll find out that the knees are not going forward, they're actually going backwards like horse's knees. So that's very difficult. We don't expect you to do this. And then plant your feet. Stand at your feet. Separate them just a little bit. So starting at the bottom, solid feet, bent knees, cinched waist, rolled shoulders, head up, eyes open. And we're going to hold this for five seconds. And what do you feel? Uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel anything? I get that it's uncomfortable. But what else do you feel? My eyes hurt. Your eyes hurt? OK. But what else is happening physically to your body? It's tense. Is it just tension? Or? I feel like maybe you're like contracting your core. Yeah. It's strenuous. It's strenuous. His job is strenuous. Yeah. His job is strenuous. So it's taking on physically the manifestations of his entire community. And guess what? He stays like this always. And you can see how this power, what's called a power figure, really becomes that manifestation. So it's compassion in a different way, not so benign, but full of energy, full of excitement, because he represents a living community the relationship of the Nkisi and what medical students can learn from the Nkisi is um, that the Nkisi is something that communities go to when they're seeking a resolution or a solution to a problem. And just like the Nkisi, physicians represent a source of solution to a problem and can represent somewhat of an authority or a power figure. As physicians, we're flooded with a ton of information going from just looking at the patient, talking to the patient and family, but also there's laboratory tests, or it, there's imaging tests, and like you said, there's also information from the medical record that you have to synthesize and really just kind of filter the most important pa parts out of it. 
We've been looking at the Inkisi and Condi for the last class, and what's exciting um, to understand is how the students shared the experience of getting into the pose of the standing male figure, of uh, thinking about those issues of caring for an entire community and standing for that community in the way that you can embrace them and you can help an entire community, which is the key role of being a doctor in service.